Hello, this is just a quick message to all of you viewers that unfortunately tonight I do not have a makeover video for you. I've had a very busy week and I've just run out of time and could not produce a quality video that I know that you expect to see. So the good news is I've brought forward an unboxing video from the middle of next week to now, so at least you've got something to see tonight. And rest assured that next Wednesday and next Saturday there will be two new Marty's Matchbox makeover videos out. And I hope you can wait, and it should be worth the wait too. Um, so until then, this is Marty from Marty's Matchbox Makeovers saying a goodbye and thank you for watching. Hello, and thank you once again for watching another unboxing video. This is, I forget which number. And I've got four packages today. Well, actually this one's an envelope. I've got two small packages and a medium sized package. So I'm gonna start with the biggest and work my way down. So, let's hope there's something here for all of us. <laughs> I don't have a knife. <laughs> oh, here it is. Beautiful. So this first box here that I'm opening, this is the first one, I think. It's from... Psst, what's his name? No, Corey Thompson from Seagal. I thought his name was Seagal, but it's Corey Thompson from Pennsylvania. Also known as Plow Vendor Studios. Now that sounds exciting. Oh, this is a wood. This is good. This is an assortment, and it looks really cool. I'm quite excited. It's like Christmas. Excellent. Quick Weld, JB Weld, the world's strongest bond. And this is the quick setting one. I've been using the slow one up until now. So this will help me speed things up, because I've been having to wait like 24 hours before I can play around with it. Now that's great. That's some uh, epoxy resin there, and it's uh, reinforced with metal. This is great. Oh, how cute is this? Oh, it's a gift for Julie. Oh, she's going to love that. If you don't want this, please give her to Julie. Look at it. It's a gorgeous little sort of pink unicorn or horse thing. How beautiful. Nice, and it says got you on the back. I like that. I'm going to give that to Julie. Oh, here's an exciting little bag of goodies. Check this out. The right assortment here. Oh, there's a train. Wow. Don't get too many trains. Let's have a look at this. That is a weird train. What is that? Jeez, it's dark over this side of the room. It's a... A midge toy Pockford. A midge toy Pockford. Would you believe it? It's a midge, midge toy Pockford. And it's weird. It's just kind of like a hollow casting with a couple of wheels on it. There's a fair bit of detail in there though. Hey, never heard of it. And here's another train. This is a Matchbox Superfast made in England. Steam 1000, I think it says. It's the number 434 and it reminds me of Thomas the Tank Engine. Look at that. It's great, isn't it? So two trains. I don't have any now, but two. What's this thing here? Is this a Tootsie? No, could be. That's a wacky looking thing. What a weird... This is crazy. This is a crazy little package, I can tell you what. This is a Matchbox Ambulance. Made in China, this one. Not England. Oh, one of the lights has been shoved in. Look at the lights, they're not domed, they're kind of cylindrical. See that, that's weird. And the rear doors are missing, that's a shame. I'm going to have to look that one up online and see what colour it's supposed to be. And give that a spruce up. 
This looks like a Range Rover. It is, it's a Range Rover. What is it called? Roller Mate. I've never heard of them. It's a, it is a Matchbox, a Roller Mate. And that light just looks really weird. Look at it. It's like a massive dome of clear with a, a fluorescent pin, fluorescent orange pin coming up in the middle there. The weirdest thing I've ever seen on a car, that. Three more. This one I've got, and it's missing something. It's a, uh, a daff. It's a tipper. It's got a yellow tip tray on the back. I remember seeing it. So I'll have to get a yellow tip tray for that. Two more. This is one from yesteryear. Is it Matchbox? A Model T Ford again. Look at that. You can have as much fun as you want with that. It's kind of... It's just asking for a custom, isn't it? Do you think? Maybe I could have made this my first ever Marty's Matchbox makeover model. You know, with my brand on it. That might be quite fun. And this one here is another Matchbox that looks crazy. They must have been trying to compete now with the Hot Wheels. Because you look at that, it looks just like a Hot Wheels. You know, it's a fast American car with these super fast wheels. Made in 1975. Not as much detail as they usually have, you know, it's very basic. But cool. Never had one of those before. Now I might just make a bit of room here because it's getting crowded. Now, something else. There's something else and something else. There's two something else's in here. Please open carefully, fragile parts. I'm scared, I'll leave that one for last. Oh, what is it, what is it, what is it? Oh, is it a mouse, it's a bloody mouse trap. <laughs> uh, I think it went off in slow motion. <laughs> oh, what a laugh. Ah, oh, I probably opened it upside down. Oh, Corey Thompson. Oh, check this out. Corey Thompson Farms. She sells corn, oats, hay, straw. Angus cattle. Blimey, how much are they worth? Custom grinding, combining equipment and manure. Sounds like a load of shit to me. Oh. And this here. That would have been so funny if that had taken my fingers off. I'd have sued you. <laughs> oh, look at this letter. I'll quickly read this. Dear Martin, as the day slowly begins to wind down, I sit here with too much to do. Packed away in this box are several Matchbox cars I have donated to you, one of which is actually from my childhood. See if you can guess which one. There's also a couple of odd ones in this bundle that look similar to the older cars that Leslie made that are not Matchbox. The small green one has me stumped as I can't find anything anywhere on it to indicate what it is or where it came from. I've also thrown in with these cars an epoxy that might come in handy. Sure will. For some of your restorations in the future, I've used this same product for a bunch of products I've done in the past, and I've had good results. But I forgot, I also remember you saying you needed a pony for the 43 pony trailer. And since I just happened to have a spare one lying around, I figured I'd let you have it. Or oh, maybe that's in there. Lastly, I've included a special gift for me to you, two custom 164 scale trucks that I built and painted myself. What the? Also with these is a tractor prop from a recent video I've been working on, which will hopefully be up by the time summer, brackets your winter, rolls around. I feel like that you are someone deserving of this piece and ask that you please find a safe place to display it as the model may become quite valuable in the future. Before I wrap things up, I would also like to ask if you can... 3D print me off some tyres for a couple of Matchbox trailers and wagons. I have, I have, and also some barrels as the originals went missing long before I got my hands on them. I recently picked up the John Deere tractor at a show earlier this month and I have had, and I have the matching trailer but with no tyres or barrels. Anyways, thanks for taking the time to get back to me on these cars and please be sure to let me know when you get them. Best wishes for you and Julie, and I look forward to our next conversation, as well as many more Marty's Matchbox and Makeovers videos in the future. Take care, Colin. Well, fantastic leather, fantastic box, nice selection of vehicles. 
Now I'm going to open this carefully because these are the handmade ones I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, let's hope they made it all the way here, undamaged. Oops. Give me a bit of room here. It's a bit scared I'm going to damage something here. Fragile, open carefully. Use no knives. Uh -uh. There we go. Ah. Oh. There's a few bits uh, become detached here. So I'm going to have to fix them up. There's an exhaust pipe and a couple of lights have come off. By the looks of it. No, wing mirrors. Wing mirrors. A nudge bar, we call them. Looks like that goes on the front here. And an exhaust tailpipe, possibly. Or a snorkel. So I'm going to have to fix that one up. That's an unusual model. What is that one? Oh, it's all been the custom. So it's had the uh, markings removed. Right. Oh, <laughs> this one here is pretty cool. The wheels fell off. I like these utes though, we call them utes over here. These are good wheels, good looking wheels. Look at that. That's going to take two minutes to fix that. That's a nice looking car, look at that. It's done a good job on that. I shall glue those on with some JB Weld. Look at that. I like that. This must be your company colour, is it? The red? Please let it be whole, please let it be whole, please let it be whole. These are, these must be your company colours, aren't they? Now why has that got tape over there? Is that a tarpaulin? Is this an abandoned tractor that sits out in the paddock and it's, it's out in all the elements and this here is a tarpaulin, I think, it's over it. To preserve, keep the seats dry, that's what I reckon that is. That's pretty cool, look at that. It's got oil stains on it. Like it's it's weathered. Sort of a custom there. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, they're nice. Look at those. Thanks very much, Corey. That's a great little set there you've given me. And uh, all got your own, you put your own spin on them, you know, it's all right. That's great. Well, these three here, I will definitely, I will repair this one. And I will keep these because they're rather special. These are the first uh, custom made vehicles that any of one of my viewers has sent me. So it means a lot to me. So thanks so much for that. I'm going to put these in my cabinet when they're done. And they, there they will stay. This mouse trap, by the way, is going to come in real handy for some of the spiders I've got around here. Uh, they come out at night and you can feel them crawling around the, the headboard of your bed. And this is just what I need to set when I'm asleep so that when those spiders come out at night, I can get back at them and I can kill them. So I look forward to that. <laughs> Although I have no idea how you're supposed to get this to work. That doesn't look right. Oh. Okay, I'm new to mouse traps, so I'll have to uh, look this up on Google to see how to set this. Because I've set it, but it ain't going to go off. <laughs> All right, moving on. Oh, I know, look, I can see now. That just goes under that ridge. I reckon, oh God, that's a hair trigger. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, number two. Number two is a, a heavy little sucker. Very compact, it says on it, it's from Japan. First one ever. I'm gonna get myself a map, by the way. I'm gonna get a, a big map of the world, I'm gonna laminate it, and I'm gonna put map pins in every time I get a, a package so because this is it blows my mind uh, it says mini cars with no batteries okay and it's from it looks like Fabian Fabian Galeman Galeman Fabian Galeman from somewhere in Tokyo called Shingak, we think, because it's uh, been washed off. It's, it's just washed away. Anyway, let's, let's open that and see what it says. Let's 
And oh, there's not another mouse trap in here. Good lady, good Iva. Fragrance, fragrance from Belgium. This is a big letter. I daren't read it all because it's going to take too long. Just I'll try and rush through it. Ah, this person is a French woman living in Tokyo. She watches my channel. It reminds me of a time when she was a little girl. She loves watching the videos. I think the world today misses people like you. Ooh. Uh, she was in a second-hand bookstore the other day and noticed a box full of model cars, mini cars they call them, with three for 100 yen, about $1. So she started exploring. Some of them look like Matchbox models. Unfortunately, it was not. But she found two, which I'm sending here today. There's also a non-Matchbox truck. and Because he didn't want to take 100 yen for two cars. So he threw one in. I'm surprised the axles seem so much thinner than the ones I've seen on your videos. And also the wheel rims look a little bit like snap buttons. I've included some snap buttons that you might consider using as a replacement for missing wheels. Anyway, thanks for your very nice videos with lots of love. Fabian! Ah, oh, oh, wonderful. French lady that lives in Japan. Hmm. Three cars. Here's one. Here's two. And here's three. And here are some snap-on buttons, I think she said they're called. I don't know if they'd make very good wheels, but you know what? How can they make for a great steering wheel in a model? Look at that. That's a very interesting idea. Well, what are these? Okay, this one's a matchbox. I can't read it because it's all scuffed up and uh, difficult to read. But uh, I wonder if it had a windscreen in it at one stage. It probably did, I'm thinking. It's got opening doors, fairly detailed interior, and super fast wheels so I don't know quite what it is but I should do some research in it oh this one here looks like it's way gone it's got it's not a matchbox made in Japan it's 160 second scale it says on the base and it looks like it's got a huge rivet there that's corroded and this is a crane jib that's supposed to rotate here's some outriggers so you can put them out when the crane's lifting something uh, uh, oh, it's got a good little man in there, though. Something you don't see every day. It's got a driver sitting in there. It's a nice detail. But to fix this, I'm going to have to know what it's supposed to look like. So I'll have to look that one up. There's very few clues on the bottom, though. And this one here is a matchbox. ISO Griffo. Oh, I recognise it now. ISO Griffo. Oh, one of the doors is missing. Ah, oh, well. That will be interesting to try and fix that, won't it? Might try a 3D print one for a change. What do you reckon? Tow hook's missing too, and it's super fast. So that's very nice. Very nice of you to do that for me. Uh, off the cuff like that. You found these in Japan, of all places, and uh, sent them to me in Australia, which is a very nice thing to do, and a great letter to go with it also. So thank you, Fabian. I really appreciate you doing that for me. Right, is this number three? Number three, US postage from 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 Clarkdale GA, whatever that means. What's GA? Georgia. Ken Bolt, Marietta, Georgia. How do you know that? How do we know that? <laughs> oh, it's written on here. Here we go. Letter. Oh. Ooh. I like things like this. Intriguing. Like, what can it be? It's like Christmas. Ken Bolt from Marietta, Georgia. Oh, May the 17th. <laughs> so sorry, Ken. In fact, so sorry to all of you. It's taken me this long to get round to opening your uh, your packages. I try my best. Dear Marty, encloses my number 41 Jaguar and Driver. I started collecting matchboxes when I was 10. 
My first model was the Ford Corsair with the boat on top. Remember that one? I collected them till well into my teens, when model trains and airplanes began to comp compete. And I didn't really like the new Superfast, never really got into Hot Wheels either. Well, you know what, Ken? Me and you have got something in common there, because I hate the things. Well, I don't. <laughs> I just don't like them as much as I like the Matchbox. <laughs> Uh, most of my collection ended up with various nephews and I was able to get back a few. In the meantime, I've built my collection back up off eBay. Funny, those car cars used to be 50 cents. Hmm. As I've mentioned before, my son Jeremy is a special needs guy. He loves my old matchboxes and we enjoy watching your videos. Let me know when you plan to get around to doing the Jag. I haven't told Jeremy about this. I plan to surprise him when the video airs. Hmm. On a separate note, where do you source your parts from? The source I've used, Toy Do you know if Polish Strip is available in the US? No, I don't know, unfortunately, but I'm sure they have something similar. Stay warm down there. Cheers, Ken. P.S. Jeremy loves Kevin the Koala. Oh, and Kevin loves you. He loves all his fans. He's always getting fan mail. It's crazy. He's more popular than me. What's in here? Plastic bag. Ah, oh, it's got a. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it's got a reproduction driver in there. See that? And he probably goes into this vehicle. I remember this now. I do, I do, I do. I remember it. it's coming back to me. Yes. Look at that. It looks like Speed Racer's car. Is that what it's called? No, it's not. It's called a D-Type Jaguar. It's going to look great. Look at that. Needs new stickers. The driver, the original driver's lost his head. Uh, probably drove under a low bridge or something. And this one here is a replacement. So that's pretty cool. I'll do this up and it's going to look magnificent. And... I don't know. I'm going to have to reread the emails, Ken. But I think you wanted this one back, if I'm right. And if that's so, then I'm going to do it up, make a video on it, and send it straight back to you. So don't you worry about that. That's going to look great. It's a real classic, that car. You don't see many of these around. In fact, this is the first one I've ever held in my hand. So it's quite a special moment for me. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Well, I'm quite excited about doing that Jaguar. I tell you, it's going to look nice. Now I'm down to the last one for today, and this one here is from the Czech Republic. See, I wish I had that map. If I had that map, I'd be getting up and sticking a pin in right now. Now the guy's name is, now bear with me here, it's, <laughs> it's funny because it's all pleased. <laughs> it's, it's Powell Pospisil from Patini. Right, so Powell Pospitini, no, Powell Pospisil from Patini in the Czech Republic. So thank you, Mr. Pospisil. I look forward to seeing what's in here. And I'm not making fun of your name, it's just I have very difficult, a very difficult time pr pronouncing people's names from other countries. So, look at that. Oh, there's some pictures. Oh, look at these here. Oh, there are nice pictures here. What is all this? Oh, apologies for the printed letter. My handwriting is terrible. Fair enough. I have a confession to make. Last year, I accidentally ran into one of your makeover videos, the Studebaker. I got mighty excited about it. As a small kid, I've been playing with matchboxes a lot, mostly the 1980s ones. So, uh, he's got many tips and tricks on how to dismantle them and prepare them for paint and so on. He started to restore his own models and he's attached some pictures of ones that he's done. At this point, I want to thank you for being an inspiration. You've bought me a fantastic hobby. That's alright. Accept this small gift as a token of my gratitude. I hope you put to good, a good use to them, either as restoration projects or spares. Keep up the good word. Best regards from the Czech Republic. And his name is Pavel. I thought it was Powell. So it's Pavel Pospisil from Patini. Oh, look at these pictures he's sent. Oh, he's done some good work here. 
Look at this, I'll have to show you some of these pictures up close. This is uh, something different. Oh, he's done lots of them, look at this. Great pipes there, oh that, that gee, I think I've done most of these. God, they look good, he's done a good job on those. I'll show you those pictures later, in a second. What have we got in here? Oh. A crane, that's good, I haven't got that one. A horse box that I haven't got either. That's the same trailer. You know the, uh, the horse boxes I did, the yellow ones that were towed behind the green cars? This is the exact same door. They must have repurposed it for this model. There you are. With the exception of this one, I haven't got any of these. Matchbox scaffolding truck, 1969. Nice. This one is the... Matchbox horse box. Matchbox horse box. Oh, I haven't got one of those either. And this is the number 63 Dodge Crane Truck. I quite like that. I do like these uh, heavy machinery when they're done up. I, I, I don't know why, I just like them. And it's a Dodge. I've seen that front on a lot of other vehicles. Not that one, but other ones. Oh, that's great. Those are three I haven't got. This one I have. This will be the second one of these. And I'll probably have to do a fleet of them now. Like uh, in the same colours. And two at the same time. To get through them. So that's that's just great. So thanks, uh, uh, Pavel. Is it Pavel? Pavel, yeah. Thank you very much. From the Czech Republic to Australia. Thank you so much for taking the time to do that and your models from what I can see at a glance look equally as good as mine if not better so I've got a bit of competition there so once again a fantastic selection of a variety of a fantastic variety of bits and bobs here multitude of cars some chemical weld all sorts of bits of pink a pink horse, no, no less. Um, and the mousetrap. All fun and games, I, I just love it. So, to all of you who have been involved in making this video, thank you so much. Uh, it's you that make me who I am today and make these shows interesting by the variety of things you send me. It's just, it gives me a great pleasure to pay it back and show everybody who are watching um, all these interesting things. So, you know, I just think it's a fantastic hobby. And uh, so now it's time to say thank you for watching and I do so hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I will see you next time on Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. What the hell was that? <laughs>